little GUI demo of my DCC++ EX throttle. This is the default menu screen that will boot up. Got your power options and then your loco options. Currently got a loco on programming track. Turn that on. Go to program. Here you can read and write CV values. So you can read the address. If my loco's wheels weren't so dirty. There we go, it's on address one. You can read a byte to get the keypad up so you can select a number. Again, my wheels are very dirty on this and it, it's a bit hit and miss. There we go, value 15. Back to the main menu. Move the loco to the main track. Turn the power for the main on. Now you can have config files so you can select locos by name. Up, up to 20 characters per stored on a micro SD card and you can toggle through the pages for how many locos you've got. You can also use the rotary encoder to go backwards and forwards and then once selected you can have custom configuration for your function options. If there's more than that fit on the page again it has paging. Function buttons can be momentary or latching like lights engine sound use the rotary encoder to give some throttle you can push and hold for two seconds and it will do an emergency stop settings are remembered so you can just select another loco if you wanted to. If you don't have a config file for the functions it defaults to F0 to F28. Again each one has a memory so you can even go back to loco 1 and it still remembers which ones are pressed. that to 96 and it can remember which ones you pressed.